and here we are with the first direct of 2022. A lot of people said that this direct was the best and I have to agree with them. There was a lot of huge announcements in this one and a lot of surprising ones as well. In fact, I was actually surprised by some of these announcements. Like I saw no rumors of these games whatsoever and I usually do see rumors of that when the Nintendo Direct is almost here. But anyways, let's get on with the video. The first announcement of the Direct was the Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes game. I guess this is just a sequel to the first Fire Emblem Warriors games. I guess this one just adds characters from Fire Emblem 3 Houses. Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes is releasing on June 24, 2022. I'm not really a Fire Emblem fan, so I wasn't really paying attention to this announcement, but I bet there is some new things in there. If not, then why not just add stuff as DLC to the original Fire Emblem Warriors? But it's not my problem, so Fire Emblem fans, I'ma hand it off to you. Next, we have some more information on the revival of Advance Wars. We found out that it will now include voice acting, and then we found out the release date of the game, which was leaked ahead of time. Next up, we have my favorite announcement of the entire Direct, and you could probably see why. That game was the new Mario Strikers, Mario Strikers Battle League. Mario Strikers is finally back after not being recognized for almost 15 years. The gameplay looks amazing and the art style is something else. The new stage looks amazing. Let's just say everything in this announcement was amazing. There are new costumes and gear you can select, you can create or join a club, and up to 8 players can play, with 4 being on each team. Like Splatoon, Mario Strikers Battle League will release on June 10th, 2022. Next we had a first look at Splatoon 3 Salmon Run. There's new elements like now you can throw eggs at other teammates or to the egg basket, which is pretty helpful and got good feedback. New bosses are here like Fish Dick, the Flipper Flopper, and also this unnamed boss that appears at the end. They also announced that Splatoon 3 will be coming out summer of 2022. Next, they announced that Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers Edition, would release on Nintendo Switch. Don't get mad at me, but I don't even know what this game is, but I see that a lot of people actually liked this game back then and were excited for it. Therefore, I decided to put it on this list. Don't have much to say except all I heard them say about this is that they redid the music for this game, which I guess is cool. Also, they announced that Radical Dreamers will release alongside that. All of this is releasing on April 7th. Next up, we have some new footage of Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And Kirby can become a car now, which Nintendo calls Car Mouth. He can turn into a vending machine, which they call Vending Mouth. He can turn into a cone, which they call Cone Mouth. He can turn into a Scissor Lift Mouth, Ring Mouth, Light Bulb Mouth, Arch Mouth, and Water Balloon Mouth. They are now some new places as well, Waddle Dee Town, and in the town there is a weapon shop where your abilities can be evolved. Next they announced a Kingdom Hearts collection called Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpieces for Cloud, and that is actually out right now. And a collection of Klonoa will be coming which includes Klonoa 1 and 2, and that will release on July 8th. Next was a collection of the Portal series which includes Portal 1 and 2. They call it Portal Companion Collection, they didn't give an exact release date, they just said it was coming this year. Next was the Live Alive game that was remade in HD 2D. I don't know what this game is, but apparently it was a really big game back then. Apparently, there is different categories you can fight, and those are Prehistory, The Wild Wild West, Emperor China, Twilight of Edo Japan, Present Day, The Near Future, and A Distant Future. Like I said, I don't know what this game is, but apparently it has a big fandom. The game releases on July 22nd. Next was the announcement of the Wii Sports Revival Nintendo Switch Sports. This game has three games from past Wii Sports games, Tennis, Bowling, and Chambara, which is basically just swords play from Wii Sports Resort. The three new additional sports are Soccer, Badminton, and Volleyball. In Soccer, you can actually use the Leg Shop accessory from the Ring Fit Adventure game in a mode called Shootout. And updates will be coming later, like how an update will come in the summer, where you can use the Leg Shop accessory from the Ring Fit Adventure game once again in the main soccer matches. But if you don't have the Ring Shop accessory, it will come packaged if you buy the physical version of the game. Another update which will come in the fall will add Golf 2. An online playtest for the game is planned for February 18th through 20th, 2022. The game releases on April 29th, 2022. Next we got news on a triangle strategy game. This game has honestly been through a lot but the game is releasing on March 4th, 2022. But they announced that a demo is on the Nintendo eShop which you can play until the end of chapter 3. Like I said, not really interested in this but for the people that is, there you go. Then they announced an update that was coming to the Metroid Dread game. Dread mode and rookie mode is added. Dread mode is a mode where you play the game, but if you get hit once, it's game over. In rookie mode, you just have increased health. This update is out now. There's also another update where it adds boss rush mode. I don't think I have to explain this one as much. You literally just fight bosses, and that update launches in April 2022. 
They then announced that Earthbound is finally coming to the SNES Nintendo Switch Online collection. After years of this collection being out and after years of the internet coming for Nintendo for not putting this on there, it's finally here. They also added Earthbound beginnings to the NES Nintendo Switch Online collection as well. Those are available to play on the collection now. They then announced not Mario Kart 9, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, which they called Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. People are actually right. Nintendo is not letting this game go. And it does make sense because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sales have skyrocketed. But anyways, back to the DLC. These DLC will come in waves. It won't include new characters like the Wii U Mario Kart 8 did, but it'll include remade courses from past Mario Kart games. Wave 1 will include Coconut Mall from Mario Kart Wii, Choco Mountain from Mario Kart 64, Tokyo Blur from Mario Kart Tour, Toad Circuit from Mario Kart 7, Paris Promenade from Mario Kart Tour, Shroom Ridge from Mario Kart 7, Sky Garden from Mario Kart Double Dash, and Ninja Hideaway from Mario Kart Tour. There's going to be a total of 8 courses in each wave, and there's going to be a total of 6 waves. Every course will have released by the end of 2023. The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass will be releasing on March 18th, 2022. You can pre-order it now. Or if you have the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, you can get it for free. And then they finally announced Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Like some other games on this list, I am not a huge fan of this series, but a lot of other people are. The game is releasing in September 2022. And that was all of the huge announcements in this year's February Nintendo Direct. I gotta be honest, it felt kinda weird not to have a Smash announcement in this Direct, and I feel like a lot of other people can agree with me on that. But other than that, the games that were announced looks fantastic, and honestly can't wait for some of them. I'ma try to make this a series where I talk about huge announcements in Nintendo Directs. I did the exact same thing for the September 2021 Nintendo Direct, and you can go watch that if you want. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload. And follow all my socials so you can get updates on the next video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.